My question, so first of all, I would just like to thank you for your report. Um, it's, it's extremely informative. Um, I, I'd like to know right off the bat, uh, in, when you're defining the green sector, do you include the arts and culture sector in that? We don't directly, um, but we, what we do include is anybody working in any other industry, regardless of what sector it is, that has a direct relationship to sustainability, green planning, whether it's recycling or carbon reduction, we make sure we actually did a, an outreach survey where we phoned hundreds of companies to talk to them about what their, 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 their employee structure was to find out are there employees in your company um, that actually work in, 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 in sustainability. So we do count those jobs, uh, but the, the, the definition of a green job is a company or somebody that's producing green goods and services directly related to green economy. I've seen other cities or other jurisdictions do that it include more broadly things like the art and culture sector. And I happen to favor that, but it's great to just know the definition. I'm glad to see you see that as an emerging industry, and the report looks at um, green industry, clean technology, knowledge based industry, creative sector, and the growth in that area. Um, and I support that. I'm, I'm wondering, however, if you thought at all at risks to those sectors, especially those sectors that that really very much depend upon the quality of the environment here. Um, you know, I see that you have assets listed like great beaches. Um, so, although I don't see this often, I'd like to know if it ever has come up in your discussions, um, looking at risk activities in the economy to current and future economic strengths. And the risk one I'm thinking about is the crude oil tanker traffic in the Port of Vancouver. And if that has been a subject of conversation um, it, um, amongst your colleagues and a desire to learn more, understand what that proposal to increase tanker traffic is about and how that might pose risk to the current economic sector. So. Right, thank you. I, I admit I, that's not a common conversation that we have. Um, in terms of the port activities, other than looking at, you know, are they profitable, are they competitive, are they doing a good job for our community? It's really, you know, the, the level of, of, of um, examination that we go through. In terms of managing risks, it's a really critical part of what we do is looking exactly at that. What are the gaps in our local economy that are undermining our ability to, to have a higher, um, um, a higher competitive and a higher performing economy. And some of them we talked about earlier in terms of access to capital, for example. So part of our work is to address that directly and indirectly. Um, and part of that is, you know, that startup companies, for example, don't necessarily have enough support when they're trying to get their legs under them in stages two, three, and four growth. So, so we look at what are the solutions that we have to put in place, what are the mechanisms that minimize and eliminate that risk to those companies and to those businesses. So indeed, it's a really critical part of, of how we work and, and what we look at in terms of managing those risks and those gaps. Um, and again, there, there is a fine line, obviously, between making sure that um, we are supporting those businesses, we don't do the work for them, we don't, you know, we don't have incentive programs that directly support them, but there are many things we can do as a city and as a community to make sure that those gaps are being managed. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Um, I have one more question, Mr. Mayor. Um, regarding um, the, you identified affordability of housing as a, a top issue um, and I would like to know number one if you're communicating that or how you're communicating that um, especially to senior levels of government who can weigh in on this and um, so the, oh, it is a two-part question but you can ask that first yeah, thank you. Um, it, it's a critical issue so where we work directly um, at the level right now is we're working through the business works program as we're interviewing hundreds of businesses a year um, and we interviewed in our pilot last year well over 200 businesses. Um, we we're exploring options with them. So, what is it that you need? What's the number one issue for you? <coughs> capital, you know, all of those things that we identify. Um, and then, what we're doing is looking at coming back to city and working with both advising policy, um, directing policy, and uh, providing input into what the options are. Um, in terms of looking at best practices around the world again. So obviously we're not the only city dealing with this. What are some of the other cities doing in order to address it? And then how do we play a very key role in making sure that we're addressing that as well? Thanks, Councillor Carr.